The fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. So, last episode, um, it was a, it was a really good episode. It was probably the best episode of the season so far, but um, it was also very depressing. A lot of the people, a couple characters that I actually like, are on the brink of death. We got Glenn. Glenn, bro. Y'all saw it, man. I fucking... I think I threw my water bottle. <laughs> I got another one. Don't worry. Um, Glenn is sick. Are you kidding me? The guy from... Se the pizza delivery dude from season one that saved Rick by... Not, not, he saved Rick. Actually, now that I think about it, he was the first one that, that, that Rick interacted with. So he's low-key, like, second protagonist. He's about to die. Nah, nah, nah. Ain't no way. So far, everyone that has got sick from this sickness has coughed up blood, has sneezed up blood, has cried out blood, and have all died. Their, their, their backyard is literally full of graves now. It's just a grave spot. And that room that they're all, all in is just a waiting room for death. It's terrible. Glenn's in there, Sasha's in there, and freaking little girl Lizzie. I know we just met her, and I know she's you know, a little fucked up in the head, but, you know, how can we fix that if she dies? So yeah, um, it's pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. I know this this show isn't afraid to kill off characters, so if they're if they're really gonna kill off Glenn, uh, I don't know. I'm still gonna watch, but there's all, that's always gonna be in my head. Like, where the fuck is Glenn at, bro? You know what I'm saying? If he if he does die from this, I don't know, man. That's I did not expect that. <laughs> He was one of the last people I expected to uh, possibly die. But it can happen now. Now it's actually a good chance that he will because guess what? We don't have a fucking cure. Dr. S is sick. He about to die too. Um, and the run that Daryl, Michonne, uh, Ty, and... Uh, I don't know his name. The other guy? Um, their run failed because they found a herd of walkers in the way to the veterinary college. So they can't even go get the medicine. Uh, luckily, thank God, we have the grace of God. The grace of Jesus himself. Herschel, Big Hirsch, you know, said one of the best lines I've ever heard from the show. He said something like, you know, uh, My life is a small sacrifice to save the other lives of the people we love. Some shit like that. Y'all know what it was. <laughs> God, my Herschel impression is terrible. But yeah, he, he said some shit like that, and that's what he did. He went out to the woods, got some got some crops. I don't know, was it some berries? And he made a little drink, you know, a little concoction that doesn't heal them, but it will stall the sickness and, you know, have the ones who are inside of the death ward uh, feel less pain, you know? So he's doing a service. It's not even foolproof, nowhere near foolproof. He's not even wearing a mask. He's putting his life is lit his life in danger to just make all the other ones who are suffering a little bit easier, including Glenn, you know. Um, so Big Hirsch, super real one right there. I hope he doesn't get sick because that's just gonna ruin me even more. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's all that's happening as far as the fucking the plague going on right now. Jesus Christ, that 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 flu that that Ko Ken flu. Oh my God, dude, I can't even imagine. Um, so we got that going on. And we also have found out, uh, well, actually, before I say that, we have, uh, so uh, in season, season three, when we first met Tyrese, he's very calm, he's very chill, you know, he's a very understanding person, 90% of the time. He does have a mode, though, and we saw that we saw a glimpse of it in season three, when he almost fucking smashed that dude's face in, right? He has a mode where if, if he, he can get angry, and he kind of goes Hulk, all right? Now... Uh, we first saw it in season three, like I said, and we saw it, of course, when he learned of the bu the burned bodies. And we also saw it when he was legitimately taking on like 50 walkers on his own with a little ass hammer. <laughs> and he survived. So he's beast. Uh, we definitely need him. He is definitely one of our best fighters. Michonne's got the sl the the you know the the slick slice. Daryl's got the the precision crossbow. But my guy Ty, he's the power. You know, he is our power. He could fucking literally take down three walkers with one swing. You know, he's powerful. Uh, also, we need to get him a better hammer. That hammer is a little too small for him. <laughs> but, um, and the reason why I wanted to mention Ty's Hulk mode is because we have figured out who burned his girlfriend. 
and it's a little awkward because it's a character I like. It's a character that we probably we, we all probably like, right? Yeah, it's fucking Carol, bruh. And it was kind of uh, alluded to when she was having that, you know, a little heartfelt conversation with, conversation with Ty. She kind of had like an emotional moment and knocked down all the water water jugs. Where I was a little bit confused at first, but then it hit me like, why the fuck is she getting all emotional over this shit? Um, and it would make sense because, you know, she said she 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 told Ty to his face, "I'm sorry for what happened to Karen," and she was the one that did that to Karen. So it would make sense as to why she got so emotional after that conversation. I was like, there's no way she's getting this emotional over over the water jug not working, right? No, but it does make sense over the over the other reason. Um, and I guess what worries me even more is when Rick straight up asked her, hey, did you burn and kill Karen and David? Uh, David? Was it David? She straight up just said with a stone cold face, yeah, and then walked away and continued doing her job. Although, as savage as that is, that's that's a little, uh, you know, that's a little too stone cold, right? Maybe, uh, I love Carol. I love how she is, she is becoming a savage and becoming one of our most capable. But we got to preserve some of our humanity, I feel like. Ever since Dale died, I think we got to honor that, all right? I get it. It's a zombie apocalypse. But if we throw too much of it away, we just come, we just become murder hobos, right? And as, uh, again, I love the savageness, but, you know, I want to see the group um, do that as best as possible, you know? And I feel like, unexpectedly, Carol is maybe losing her humanity the fastest out of everyone else, which is very, very strange. Um, but that's what I'm seeing right now. She's stone cold with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, that's happening. So let's see uh, if... First of all, we got to tell Tyrese. He deserves to know. It was his girl. Carol's part of the council, I believe. And if not part of the council, she's definitely one of the higher-ups, if you want to call it, in this new community. Um, also, have they named their new community? I guess they haven't named it, right? Woodbury? Rick's group? Rickbury? Nah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's where we are in story. Uh... It's really early in the season, and I feel like a lot has happened, so this might be one of the best seasons. It's looking like it. it. The shit hit the fan immediately with the walkers on the fence, the inside sickness, the walkers in the, in, in the prison. Some of my f favorite characters are already fucking dying and doing some crazy shit, so... So far, season four, pretty fucking good. And without further ado... Let's go ahead and jump into this next episode, episode four. Uh, I am like four or five episodes ahead if you guys are watching this on the tube. So if you want to catch those, you can catch the early access edited versions if you click that join button. And you can catch the full versions of those early episodes if you click that Patreon link. And both of those can be found down below in the description where you can also find a link to my Discord server. Uh, where you can come in, talk some stuff, say what's up, and chill. All right? With that being said, let's go and get into it, man. This is The Walking Dead, Season 4, Episode 4. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for that algorithm. Let's get to it. Oh, uh, wait, what? Come back, they aren't... Bro, she needs to get that out of her they head. Aren't who they were. Yeah, but there's something. There's someone. No, honey, they ain't no one. They're fucking monsters. I'm little now. If I don't die, I'll get big. I'll be me. She is tripping. <laughs> Can someone give her Zombie 101, please? What the fuck is she? Zoe 101? What is she talking about? She needs to... Oh, my God. Oh, shit! She was wearing a ninja mask and everything. <laughs> Carol. Shit. That's right. She murdered them first, took them out, and then burned them. Oh, Carol. Oh, my goodness. You, your sister, and me... We're gonna survive. I know it. Where's your knife? Put your t-shirt behind it. You've got to be able to get to it quickly. Yes, mom. I mean, ma'am. Don't call me mom. Oh shit. Who? I just. Oh shit. Why does she call her mom like that? And I. Quick. We needed the bodies gone. We needed to stop it from spreading. They were the only ones who were sick. 
they were a threat. Shit. I was trying to save lives. I had to try. Somebody had to. Not like that, though, honey. That the way Carol was just talking literally sounded like Shane. I want to save lives, so I so I did what I had to do. You know what I mean? That's I I just heard Shane all through that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Carol, Carol, Carol. Damn. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> scary game. Yeah, Tiny's to chill, bro. He is. He is like permanent Hulk mode now. Uh, again, I don't blame him, but you know, he 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 already putting them at risk right now, just by being all reckless, kind of like Carol. Why the hell didn't you let go? Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely not in the right headspace right now. Damn, dude. He's gonna, he's gonna be even more pissed, I feel like, when he finds out what Carol did what she, did what she did, you know what I mean? Fuck, I don't, I don't see this happening. Any any type of well. As soon as the Carol and Ty meet up, that's gonna be fucking awkward. <laughs> hey, Walker kid. Oh. Whoa, whoa. It's cool. We're, we're, we're cool. We have fruit. Yeah, we got apricots, peaches. You catch. People. Or, you know, don't. <laughs> and they seem nice. They seem like the Home Alone type. <laughs> okay. Okay. Probably gonna take him back, right? Keep holding. I can't, I can't. Keep holding. Okay. When the hell did she learn how to do that? <laughs> I guess I, I guess we don't know much of her past besides Ed beating her up. Okay, good shit. Knives. To what? Stab it in the head? Yeah. We got separated from our crew about a week ago. Been trying to play it safe since it's just the two of us. I have to with my leg. Yeah. We were at a refugee center together, and there was a fire. <laughs> People were just trampling over me. Asshole. <laughs> Sam saved my life. The interview questions. So let me tell you why that was interesting. Because they were kind of, um, you know, exagger not exaggerating. What's the word I'm looking for? They were emphasizing on the, the guy's injury and her injury. Okay? Which sucks for them, but it makes them kind of handicapped. And I, look, I've never been in a zombie apocalypse, but I imagine if you try to help someone that's handicapped during the handicap apocalypse, <laughs> apocalypse, it's probably gonna make it twice as hard for you. So, you know, I'm thinking there's two ways that this can go. Either one, we want to help them out, which is what Rick wants to do. I think that's what it looks like. He's asking the interview question. That's good. Or two, one of the one of the other ways to think is the way I just said, where we're like, oh shit, they're, 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 you know, they're kind of hurt. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to take them back, you know? So I wonder what, uh, what Rick and Carol go decide to do there. I was. Why are you still going out looking for him? Hmm. Speaking of the governor, the fuck is that man? <laughs> He's rolling with Martinez and uh, the Bowman guy. What the fuck are they doing? You gotta think the governor still wants his revenge. 
he seems, even though he just took out his whole crew, he seems like the kind of, uh, to have that obsessive personality and the crazy eyes to still want revenge against Rick's crew. I see, I feel that still, even though we haven't seen him in this whole season, I still feel like he wants to do some shit like that. Um, so, where is he? <laughs> hey, if it's cake, we'll do it. If not, we'll just roll. I mean, you don't look so good yourself, man. <laughs> Are you righty or lefty? We cover more ground. The sooner we get back. You can't uh, work that way. Yeah, two Please. injured people? Please. No. Damn, Carol doesn't give a fuck. Did she? Damn. I think this is her test, though. If, if they can get past this, they can join. But why do I have a bad feeling? <laughs> Why well, do I have a terrible feeling both of the characters that we just met? Hey, how you doing, guys? They're about to just die because of Carol's suggestion. Holy shit. All right, well, I'll, I wish them the best of luck, but it, I'm feeling like it's one of those things where they just introduce a couple new cool characters and then, you know, kind of like uh, Bet's boyfriend. You got to keep busy. No. I did it so I could get me a bottle. Of anything. I picked it up, I held it in my hand, but I put it down. I put it down so hard it took the whole damn shelf with it. That's what brought on the walkers, and that's what got Zach killed. Yeah, at least he knows. At least he's self-aware. At least he's accountable for himself. That's when it, that's where it starts, you know? It'd be a lot worse if, if, he didn't, if he didn't acknowledge it at all. So I respect that, man. And hopefully he'll become a lot more useful now. He is a military medic, right? I mean, shit. Let's get him to the fucking death ward as soon as we get some medicine. The Sasha and me picked that spot. We took you with us. There ain't no way anybody could have known. You ain't gonna be standing alone. Not no more. Let's go. Soon day Ray Daryl strikes again. <laughs> Man, I love Daryl. I love characters like Daryl, bro. Hardy exterior. Actual softies. Fucking adorable. <laughs> you don't know that. It's a good argument. If you thought it would save Judith or Carl, would you have done it then? Or would you have just gone back to your crops and hoped it would all be okay? Ooh. Hard hitter. You don't have to like what I did, Rick. I don't. Just accept it. Yeah. All right. She drives a hard bargain there. I mean, she is right in the technical sense. Okay. But so was Shane. He was right in the technical sense. But he was still fucked in the head. And I don't think Carol's fucked in the head. But I do think she's on her way. You know? I mean, she straight up fucking burned his girlfriend. Imagine being Tyrese. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's messed up, Carol. Come on now. There are other ways. There are more than one ways to do things. Just because it's the most optimal way doesn't mean it's the right way. You feel me? I took the houses across the street. Hold on. How do you put his shoulder back before? You learned that from Herschel? Internet. Easier than telling an ER nurse I'd fallen down the stairs a third time. Oh, is that a. Is that some lore about Ed? Damn. He threw her down the stairs? Oh my god, that's, that's worse than I imagined. I thought he was just. punching her, which is really bad still, but throwing her down the stairs? Jesus Christ. Aye! Back. <sighs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Saw that coming a mile away. That was her bad leg, too. And that's what probably got her killed. Fuck, bro. Wait, where's the guy? Is the guy eating her? Did he save her? <laughs> he, what if he ran away? <laughs> oh, God. And they're dead because Carol suggested it. But then again, it was their decision to, to help, so it was a 50-50. But still. 
That didn't have to happen. Well, this sucks. We're fucking trapped. Shit. Luckily, we have our we have our best fighters. Some of our our best fighters. Nicely done. Holy shit, that was sick. <laughs> Duel with the shot, Michonne with the double slice. I was scared that there were more walkers uh, behind that door. That would have been really bad. Oh! You fucking... How, how did you trip? It was just a small little jump. A small little Mario jump. What are you doing? Damn, that supplies and that bag is gone. Shit. <laughs> how the fuck did he fall? <laughs> Jeez. Got no meds in your bag. Sis. Uh oh, careful. You should have kept walking that day. Don't. What? Oh shit, all up in your face. What you. <laughs> Is he stupid? Damn, Daryl's fucking intimidating. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, it was just for when it gets quiet. Dude. You take one sip. Those meds getting our people. I will beat your ass into the ground. You hear me? Damn. Damn. You know, I know Daryl has his cute moments, but sometimes I forget he's an actual badass. That's what makes him so good, you know? He, he He's actually a tough guy. He doesn't act like a tough guy, but he actually is a tough guy. But most of the time, he's actually pretty wholesome. That's why he's such a good character. Holy shit, he was actually re he was intimidating me there. God damn, I fucking... Oh, I just almost knocked down my computer. What the fuck? Damn, she's that so confidently. And if, and if they don't make it back, if everybody dies of this thing and it's just the two of us, with Judith and Carl and my, my children, I won't have you there. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? I could have pretended that everything was going to be fine. But I didn't. I did something. I stepped up. I had to do something. No. You didn't. That's right, she didn't have to. This is different. Is he really kicking her out? So here's the thing. I'm gonna wait till the scene's over. I don't want to fucking ruin it. You're not that woman who is too scared to be alone. Not anymore. It's true. You're gonna start over, find others, people who don't know, and you're gonna survive out here. You will. She probably will. She's a fucking certified badass now. And a little crazy crazy. Okay, so what I want, what, I forgot ADHD. What I was gonna say, um, remember, 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 SpongeBob, Patrick. What was I gonna say? Fuck, too late, it's gone. <laughs> oh, okay, found it. So, um, it, it, this would be all different. This Carol situation would be much different if the sickness did end with Karen and David. I feel like it, the result would be a lot different, but because people still got sick even after she burned them. It was like for what? You know what I'm saying? So I just wanna I just wanna point that out. Ed gave this to me on our first anniversary. Please. Should have given it away a long time ago. Hmm. Interesting she kept that. I imagine she kept it not because of Ed, but because it reminded her of how far she's come, of the person she was when she was with Ed. You know, weak, submissive, let people tra trample over her. 
Now she's burning bodies and killing people in her in their sleep. <laughs> oh, Carol. We're really kicking her out? Love the song in the background, by the way. We're really kicking her out. Is that the right play? I don't know. Don't put me in these Rick situations, honestly, bro. I'd be I'd be a, a, a fighter, like Daryl or uh, or Ty here, so I don't have to make any hard decisions. I just fight zombies all day. I cannot do that. Oh, I don't know. Is that the right play, dog? It's Carol, though. But she did do something really fucked. And if Tyrese does find out, he might he might have to actually go for her head. He might. YouTube that song's gonna be muted so you're gonna be you're gonna see me bobbing my head for no fucking reason <laughs> wow so we kicked Carol out huh that was real so maybe Rick wanted to like give Carol a chance to like I don't know say sorry or explain herself um on that run that was part of the deal you know what i'm saying it you know half of it was to go on a run and get some supplies and the other reason for going on the run was to pick carol's brain to see what where her head was at and where her head was at was she does not apologize for doing what she did she did what we had what she had to do to save the lives of the people, of the people she cared about which is a lot like what shane did shane would have done the same damn thing i just realized he would have killed them in their sleep and he would have burned their ass. Actually, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's actually more than what Shane would have done. <laughs> maybe what Carol did was actually worse than the Shane move. Honestly, maybe. Maybe. I mean, for some reason, the burning, even though I, it was for the sickness, the burning seems so inhumane. Because she just killed them, and then poured... Ima like, imagine being Carol and wearing the ninja mask. She killed them in their sleep. Or whatever, right? She ca she dragged their bodies. Uh, okay, she she poured the gas over them, and then she lit it and watched them burn. Probably, you know, like that. That takes some pretty inhumane person to do that. So maybe it is the right move to kick, to kick her out. That's fucked up. Wait, so does that mean she's she's <laughs> is she becoming like a Morgan character? Are we gonna see her like uh, again later? Because I feel like she's part of the core. So it'd be weird if this is like how they send her off. Is her contract up? Like what's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> I hope this is not the last time we see Carol. Because I do like her. She probably has the most character development out of all the characters. Just because she literally was a weak um, mother. Uh, submissive. Uh, just didn't talk back to her husband at all. Let let him beat her. Didn't talk much. She was very soft spoken. And now she's a walker killer. She's a people killer. She's fucking confident. She is one of the higher ups in the whole Rick Burry group. I guess I'm calling her Rick Burry. Kind of sounds. It kind of has a ring to it. Um, very capable person, but maybe a little too savage in Rick's eyes. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Do we want a person that burns people around Judith and Carl? <laughs> I don't think so. Even though even though that person is Carol, the Carol we know now is so vastly different than the Carol we knew like 2 seasons ago. So I I can't blame Rick here. I just I just don't know if it's the right play because we are losing a pretty capable person. Carol did a lot for the group. She did a lot. 100%. She did a lot. Um but the last thing she did although the the intention was good, the act was a little evil. I'm not going to lie. It was a little evil. Um, so I guess we'll see if we're going to see Carol back. On the other side of things, I don't even I don't even know what his name is. Ty, Michonne, Daryl, and the other guy. What was the other guy thinking? He literally had a wholesome conversation with Daryl. Daryl straight up told him, yo, you got a place to stay. You can stay with us. You're my, you're my brother. Bop, bop, bop. Immediately after that, he goes and grabs a bottle and even puts his own life in danger. Uh, to some walkers for some fucking bottle of liquor? That's pretty whack. Uh, but I, what I loved about that scene was Daryl went straight into 
uh, fucking just tough guy mode, you know what I'm saying? Which he does have because he's an actual tough guy, you know? It, he, he's a kind of tough guy that doesn't act tough, but is actually tough, right? Um, and of course, most of the scenes we see with Daryl is very wholesome and very cute. You know, his one-on-ones with Carol, his... Um, his kind of side leadership along Rick with the group, you know, he's definitely one of the great, uh, one of our great uh, higher ups in the in the Rick Burry group for sure, for sure. You know, he's part of the council, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, uh, he did grow up with Merle, all right, in the woods, out hunting and doing whatever the fuck they do as brothers. And uh, he 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 let uh, the guy know there that he you know he could beat his ass at any fucking moment. I was, for some reason, I was intimidated. <laughs> I'd, I'd let him he'd take all my money what the fuck that was really an intimidating scene so I guess well done on the actor for like the mannerisms like he was all up in his face all up in his grill just like what like what you know what I'm saying so I thought that was cool you know a, a small thing like that I thought that was really fucking cool um but yeah hopefully they can talk that out uh what else is happening what else is happening um oh yeah seeing um when Lizzie called uh, Carol mom, that kind of hurt a little bit too because, I mean, Carol was a mother. You know, she was a mother at one point. Uh, Sophia, that whole Sophia scene is still etched into my brain when she walked out of the barn all like this. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the fact that, and the fact that, you know, Micah and Lizzie's, Lizzie's dad, Dill, te- Dill, did tell Carol that, um, you know, can you take care of my kids while, I, while, while I'm gone? And she said yes. So it's kind of like Carol does have some new daughters and she's about to lose another one. So that, that did make me feel pretty bad. Obviously made Carol emotional. Uh, but it's good to see Carol still has emotions because she was like getting teary-eyed when that happened. So that's good. She's still, you know, as long as you can tear up or show emotions, then you still got some, some humanity in you, right? Um, but that, but again, maybe she has lost a little bit too much humanity because she did kill Karen and burn her. Okay. And that's fucked up. So anyway, hey, good episode. A little bit of a, a definitely a slower episode. It was more about uh, this episode was, was more about the atmosphere. I feel like, you know, the vibe between Rick and Carol, the vibe between the new guy, Ty and, you know, Michonne and Daryl. We're seeing those two groups. You know, it, it, it was like a vibe check this episode. And the vibes right now are uh, the tension is high. Right. Carol got kicked out and the, the, the new guy is not looking good. He's just trying to get drunk. Uh, for the quiet nights, or as he puts it, you know what I'm saying. Which again, I don't blame him, but it's not worth putting his life over some fucking liquor to some walkers. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not. So anyway, fire. Cannot wait to watch the next episode. Um, if you guys want to watch, if you guys are watching this on the, on the tube, you can catch the early access episodes. I'm like four or five episodes ahead, and you can catch the edited versions if you click that join button. You can catch the full versions if you hit that Patreon link. Okay, all those early access episodes are on both of those, and both of those can be found down below in the description, where you can also find a link to my Discord server, where you can come in, talk some stuff, and say hi. All right. With that being said, I'm out of here. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for the algorithm. And I'll see y'all for the next episode of Joaquin Deed. Bye.